Is your Windows PC experiencing problems installing updates? In this video, I am going to show you a one-stop solution for all kinds of Windows update issues. Before delving into detailed troubleshooting, you can try some simple fixes. The first thing you should do is restart the PC. Then, try pausing the update and resuming it. This could also resolve the issue. Next, run the troubleshooter. Open Settings, go to the System tab, scroll down and click on Troubleshoot, then select the other troubleshooter. Then click on Run Against the Windows Update. Follow the suggestions provided by the troubleshooter. If after following these simple solutions, your problem persists, proceed to the next steps in the video. To fix any Windows Update issues, you can seek help from the Microsoft Portal. It contains all the resources for fixing update problems. Follow the step-by-step -step tutorial and manually enter the commands to resolve the problem. If you are familiar with the commands, this will be helpful. However, if you find it complex, there is a batch file that automates this process to some extent, saving you from manually copying and pasting commands. There is a link in the description to download the batch file. Download it, extract the files, and find wuuser.bat in the extracted files. Right-click on it and select Edit to view the entire script. The script is complex, but you don't need to understand it. You just have to run the script. To run the script, you need to execute it with administrator privileges. Right-click on the file and select Run as Administrator. Accept the terms and conditions. It warns you that this tool will modify registry settings and system files, so you will have to take responsibility for the actions. Type Y to accept the conditions. You will see all the commands in the script. There are 20 commands. Simply type the number of the command and hit enter and it will run. The first one opens the system protection so that you can create a system restore point. The restore point can be used to restore your system in case of any mishap. Select the system drive, click on configure, turn on system protection and click OK. Then click on the create button to create a restore point. Now you are ready to run the other commands. The second command resets the Windows Update components. The third one deletes temporary files in Windows. The fourth command opens the Internet Explorer options, which you don't need in this case. The fifth command runs the check disk utility and the sixth runs the system file checker. The seventh command runs the DISM tool. These commands check your disk, system files, and system image for errors and fix them. The eighth command checks if the image has been flagged as corrupted. The ninth command performs repair operations automatically. The tenth command cleans up superseded components. You don't need to run all these commands in one go. You can reset the Windows Update components and restart your system. If the issue persists, try running the other commands. The eleventh command deletes any incorrect registry values. When you run this command, it first takes a backup of the keys and then deletes them. The twelfth command repairs or resets the WinSock settings. The thirteenth command forces the group policy update, which can be used to force the group policy settings if you have made any changes to them. After following all these commands, restart your system and check if the Windows Update issue is resolved. If your PC isn't downloading the updates even after this, you may have to reset your Windows or perform a fresh install at this point. Once I restart, hopefully my PC start downloading the updates. So this is your one-stop solution for any kind of Windows update issues. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below. And share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.